there's a push in Grand Rapids to honor national civil rights leaders. 13 On Your Side's Andrea Flores joins us now with the tales on the group planning to do that. Juliet, the Moving Ahead for Remarkable Civil Rights Heroes Committee wants this Hispanic Heritage Month to mark change in Grand Rapids by renaming two streets to honor Cesar E. Chavez and Martin Luther King Jr. Part of Granville Avenue Southwest is already honorary Cesar E. Chavez Boulevard. We always have known that that's a hub for the Hispanic community. But March wants to take it a step forward. It was 21 years ago. The city wasn't ready for something like that. The Moving Ahead for Remarkable Civil Rights Heroes Committee wants the street to be officially changed to honor the Mexican-American labor and civil rights leader. It's an effort that's 20 plus years in the making and close to one organizer's heart. Well, there's a lot, young girl, I came to this day with my family to pick, uh, to first harvest uh, beets in Caseville, Michigan. Then I, we would go to Old Mission Peninsula and we would pick cherries. Lupe Ramos Montaní was a migrant farm worker years ago, and just as Chavez fought for their rights, she wants to keep that fight alive. Remember, the people that he helped were the farm workers. The farm workers that bring food to our tables day in and day out. So they touch our lives every single day. It's great to know that we can have black and brown communities working together. The effort is also pushing to rename parts of Franklin Street to Martin Luther King Jr. Street. And the entire initiative wants to recognize these diverse communities. When I grew up, almost every street sign was named after some rich white guy. And just the minority impact on Grand Rapids, the positive impact on minorities have been overlooked. This is a way to highlight that. As the proposal makes its way through the city commission two decades later after its initial proposal, Lupe is touched to see change. In my mind, it's going to be more of that welcoming spirit, the inclusive spirit. There will be a public hearing on September 28th at the City Commission meeting in Grand Rapids for anyone to come by and voice their thoughts. The City Commission is expected to vote on the street name changes on October 17th. Juliet? Andrea, thank you.